Go to Wii Options. Go to Wii I'm going to show y'all. I just I don't actually know where it's at, so I got to look on here. Probably under Internet Console Information. Okay. Let me type it in real quick and then I'll show you where to find show you where to find it. Oops. Okay. Okay. So to get your MAC address, you just go to uh, Wii Settings, Wii Settings, go over to uh, Internet, and then click Console Information, and your MAC address will be there. And then you just type it into the little website. You, uh. You type it into the website. And then you gotta type in, like, the, the little code, the one where you can, uh. The little. The, the code that you type in so it knows you're not a bot. And then you click either the, cut, the red wire or the blue wire. Which should I cut? Should I cut the red one or the blue one? Which one should I cut? It doesn't matter. It says it doesn't matter in the guide. I'm going to cut the blue one because red is for girls. Okay. And then it gives you a link to download a file called letterbomb.zip. So do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Oh, my desktop is a mess. Let me clean it up. Get rid of some of this bullshit. Some of this bullshit. Various images and what's not, what not. Here I am on my desktop. Whoa. Yeah, I can't see that for shit. What if I... Damn it. There it is. It's a letter bomb. Letter bomb! Okay, let's go back to the guide. Uh, back to this. Okay. Now it says... You should have a file named letterbomb.zip. Insert your SD card into the reader and then extract the contents of letterbomb to the card by unzipping the file with WinRAR or a similar program and dragging everything into the SD cards folder. Okay. That seems simple enough. I'm going to open up the SD card. Never been opened. It's just a 2 gig. Because um, I, I wanted to get a non-SDHC because I read somewhere that that might be better. doesn't really matter. Uh... I don't think, from what I hear. But this was the cheapest thing I could find. It cost me like seven bucks, so. Seven bucks 
from like a Best Buy. That's the cost of modding your Wii. Yeah, there's other things you can do. There's all kinds of things you could do. You can, you could. I'm not going to do the thing where you can set it up to where all you have to do is like plug in a USB hard drive and you can run games off of that. I'm just doing it so I can play uh, uh, games from any region, like a Japanese title or a European title. This way, because it's modded, uh, I could say I could import a copy of the new Rhythm Tengoku or the Rhythm Heaven on Wii and play that without having to get a Japanese Wii like David. So I'm going to plug in my SD card and my SD card reader. Duper derp. And uh, let's see. It says open this folder and there's nothing on it. It's empty. Duh. I'm going to open up Letter Bomb. I'm going to I believe it says extract all to the folder. It says, uh, it says extract the contents of letterbomb.zip to the card by unzipping the file with Renar Barber Derber. Okay. So I, I click and I drag to, uh, to SD card. Just drop them there. That was hard. Modding is tough. Okay. Now that's done. I'm going to take out the SD card, because that's what it says to do. Uh, take out your SD card, and um, insert it into the Wii. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a badass, so I didn't even safely remove it, because I'm tough like that. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it into my Wii, which is right here. Okay. Now let's plug it into my Wii. I take this dumb little thing. By the way, guys. There is a uh, limited edition, limited edition Xenoblade that you can get from Europe that comes with one of these. Um, Classic Controller Pro. Oh, shit. Because the good news about Xenoblade is it recommends you use one of these, a real controller, instead of the, oh, yeah, yeah, look at all the bad guys. Ugh. Stupid games like that. Um... Okay, so now let's back up here. Okay, so let's take out your SD card. Out of your reader, insert it into the Wii. Okay, open up your Wii messages by using the Wii Mote to click on the envelope on the bottom right. Now hunt through the folder until you find a red envelope with a bomb inside of it. Okay, is it a giant bomb? Netflix? Damn it. Maybe I need to turn off the Wii and turn it back on again or something. Wait, no, no, it says open your Wii messages by using the Wii mode and click the envelope on the bottom. Let's reboot it.
Oh, go. Let's see. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, it has a bomb on it. A bomb! JC, a bomb! Okay. Click on the envelope. It should automatically install the Hack Me installer. You'll be presented with a series of prompt messages. Read them, pressing 1 or A when asked. Choose to install the Homebrew channel. You might also want to consider installing Boot Me. Okay. Oh shit! No!